to make some remarks about understanding in general uh, of a quasi-Wittgensteinian kind, because I think that Poincaré was saying some of the things that uh, come up later. So skepticism as a view uh, is hostile to the talk of meanings. It's hostile to the idea that we know what something means. And Kripke gives this very comic example. You know, you haven't added up all the infinite sums you could do, so maybe it could be that after a time addition is just wrong. And if you move that over to some axiomatic setting, you can make similar kinds of objections. It kind of looks rather fanciful, and I think, I don't know, a considerable number of philosophers would like to prove somehow that skepticism was wrong. And the skeptics say, well, you don't need to, because actually it's quite a harmless view. Um, but instead of assuming that you know quite so much about what things mean, why don't we just agree that what we're doing is talking to each other about the world, and we want to talk in a consistent way to each other, in a way that is supported by the best evidence we can find. And if we have to revise the way we talk, well, we revise the way we talk. 